Welcome back, traders. Happy to have you here today. In this short video, I will show you how to build a powerful trading strategy with the predictive ranges indicator to detect trade opportunities in the market. The predictive ranges indicator aims to efficiently predict future trading ranges in real time, providing multiple effective support and resistance levels as well as indications of the current trend direction. Predictive ranges was a premium feature originally released by Luxalgo in 2020. The feature was discontinued and made a legacy, however, Due to its popularity and reproduction attempts, the indicator was released as open source to the TradingView community. To apply this indicator on the trading chart, search the keyword Predictive Ranges Luxalgo and select the Predictive Ranges Luxalgo by Luxalgo on the TradingView Indicator Community Scripts folder. As we can see, here is the trading indicator. Before I proceed to educate you about how this trading indicator work, I need to highlight this indicator and its purpose so you can have a quick understanding of how this indicator works. To do this, we need to right-click on the indicator and navigate to the settings option. Here are the parameter settings of this indicator. It's advisable to leave the default settings. Under the input settings, there is the length, by default, it is set to 200. ATR length used for the indicator calculation. Higher values will tend to return ranges of equal width. There is the factor, by default it is set to 6. Control the width of the ranges. Higher values will return less frequent ranges, each having a higher width. There is the indicator timeframe output, traders can choose their desired timeframe. Next, is the input source of the indicator. It is recommended to use input sources on the same scale as the price. There are available options to choose between close, open, high, low, HL2, HLC3, OK4, and HLCC4. Under the style, traders can change the modify the color settings of the indicator. How does the predictive ranges indicator work in the market? The primary purpose of this indicator is to provide potential support and resistance levels on the chart by estimating future trading ranges. This is a very powerful tool for all technical analysis traders since support and resistance are the foundation of technical analysis. When the price reaches one of the upper lower levels of the predictive ranges we can expect the price to reverse. The upper band by default is usually marked with red horizontal lines as resistance while the lower band is marked by green horizontal lines as support. If the price exits the predicted range, new levels are given in real time and they do not repaint. Higher factor values allow returning longer term and wider ranges less susceptible to be exited. Users are able to easily estimate trend directions by looking at the central levels of the predictive ranges, which represent an estimate of the price central tendency. If this central level increases it means the price is uptrending, if it is decreasing price is downtrending. How does the predictive ranges indicator work in a bullish market? To use the predictive range indicator in a bullish market. Traders need to watch out for a trending bullish market. In a bullish market, the price needs to carve higher highs and higher low price swings as the examples on this price chart. Next, traders need to watch out for trade opportunities at the support green horizontal line structure on the price chart. The purple horizontal line is usually the midpoint value between the upper band resistance and lower band support line. Trading at the mid-purple line is usually risky because it is too closer to the resistance structure in the uptrend. This level is usually good for trailing profit in a buy position or for scaling up an existing buy position. Also, it is important to combine a powerful price action candlestick with the test of the support structure in the uptrend before executing buying position. As the trend gets closer to the upper band red resistance structure, traders should be planning to exit their buying position. For swing traders in an uptrend, they can decide to trail profit to the low of test of the mid-purple line between the upper and lower band. How does the predictive ranges indicator work in a bearish market? To use the predictive range indicator in a bearish market, traders need to watch out for a trending bearish market. In a bearish market, the price needs to carve lower high and lower low price swings as the examples on this price chart. Next. Traders need to watch out for trade opportunities at the resistance red horizontal line structure on the price chart. 
Remember that the purple horizontal line is usually the midpoint value between the upper band resistance and lower band support line. Trading at the mid purple line is usually risky because it is too closer to the support structure in the uptrend. Only use it for trailing profit in a sell position or for scaling up an existing sell position. Also, it is important to combine a powerful price action candlestick with the test of the resistance structure in the downtrend before executing the selling position. As the trend gets closer to the lower band green support structure, traders should be planning to exit their selling position. For swing traders in the downtrend, they can decide to trail profit to the high of test of the mid purple line between the upper and lower band. How does the predictive ranges indicator work for the reversal of trends in the market? For the reversal of trends, it is better to use the predictive ranges indicator at a higher time. The daily time frame is a great time frame to use the predictive ranges for the anticipation of the reversal of trends in the market. For the reversal of a bearish trend to a bullish trend. Watch R to see price trade from the green support horizontal line and close above the purple horizontal line. Next, watch out to see the retest of the purple horizontal line to act as confirmation of new support for the price. Traders can then buy small position sizes and then keep increasing their position size as the trend forms new higher high and higher low price swings. In this second price chart example, after the market plunged to the lower low swing on this price chart, the trend became choppy. The market switched from carving bearish swings. The price chart proceeded to close above the mid purple line and the retest of the mid purple line served as new support for the price. The trend eventually reversed to a bullish market for the reversal of a bullish trend to a bearish trend. Watch out to see the price trade from the red resistance horizontal line and close above the purple horizontal line. Next, watch out to see the retest of the purple horizontal line to act as confirmation of new resistance for the price. Traders can then sell small position sizes and then keep increasing their position size as the trend forms new lower high and lower low price swings. After the market rallied to the higher high swing on this price chart, the market switched from carving bullish swings. The price chart proceeded to close below the mid purple line and the retest of the mid purple line served as new resistance for the price. The trend eventually reversed to a bearish market. This is an important tool for raw price action traders and also one of the best technical indicators for experienced and beginner traders in the financial market. Blending this technical indicator with the exponential moving averages would turn it into a superb powerful trading strategy.